In the last lesson, we used some standard rectifying diodes to build a half and full wave rectifier circuit. This meant that we could easily turn an AC electrical sine wave into DC electricity. In this lesson, we're going to look at diodes again, but this time we're going to test out a different type of diode, one called a Zener diode. The Zener diode has a circuit symbol that looks like this, with angled lines unlike the diode circuit symbol. Functionally, a Zener diode works the same way as a normal diode, allowing current through in one direction. However, electrical current at certain voltages can also flow in the reverse direction in a Zener diode. For example, here is a normal Zener diode. If we look at what is called the IV, or current to voltage, curve of the Zener diode, we can see the two points where current is allowed to flow through the diode. On the positive side, it is at about 0.65 volts. On the negative side, it is at 5.1 volts. This 5.1 volt is what is called the Zener knee voltage for this Zener diode. All Zener diodes will operate in this way where current can flow through them in both directions, but it is the specific Zener knee voltage that will make each one unique. So what is the benefit of being able to allow current to flow at a Zener knee voltage? Well, what actually ends up happening is that the Zener diode will keep the output voltage steady at its Zener voltage. If we build and test this circuit with the Zener diode from the components kit, you'll see with a quick multimeter voltage measurement, the voltage is held steady at this Zener diode's knee voltage of five volts. But what about the effect of a Zener diode on an AC signal? Well, what ends up happening is that the AC signal will be what is called clipped at the Zener knee voltage. So for us, that means at right about 5.1 volts. And after that, the voltage won't increase. It will be clipped. For this experiment, we will again build our 1.5 kilohertz sine wave generator. But this time, we're going to see the effect that the Zener diode has when we add it to the mix. As we just saw a moment ago, it should clip the AC signal at about 5.1 volts and not allow any negative voltage through. To build this circuit, we'll need parts from the components kit, a breadboard, and the jumper wire kit. The components we'll use are the stereo cable, two 9-volt battery connectors, a 741 op-amp, five 10-kilo-ohm resistors, one mega-ohm, 100-kilo-ohm, and 100-ohm resistors, a Zener diode, and two 10-nanofarad capacitors. First, we build up our 1.5 kHz tone generator, as we have done in the past few lessons, and we'll test to make sure we can see it on our sound card oscilloscope. This time, we won't add the headphone jack to test the tone, but you can use it. With the sine wave clearly visible, let's add the Zener diode to the circuit. Immediately, you can see the negative voltage portion disappeared and the wave looks more like a square wave because the Zener diode is clipping the signal at 5.1 volt. If we turn the Zener diode around in the circuit, you can now see that only the negative portion of our sine wave is visible with clipping occurring at minus 5.1 volts.
Zener diodes are often used for means of protecting electrical inputs from unwanted voltage levels. Zener diodes can also be found as voltage regulators for low current applications or for providing a stable reference voltage. Consistent and stable reference voltages that Zener diodes can offer are very important for many applications, for example, with analog to digital converters. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. With AC, DC, diodes, and Zener diodes all under our belts, let's move on to learning about analog filters.